I've got some stuff from our bag. Let me show you what I purchased this time. You know, like this. Right, let's see what's in here. This looks suspicious like iPhone screen setup. So we've got a bag with some tools in it. It's got a Simajeta card uh, tool, so yeah, it'd be, it'd be an iPhone screen replacement thing. So I've ordered two different ones for two different phones. This one's kind of jammed in the bottom, I can't get it out. Here we go. So I think I've got an iPhone 6 and an iPhone 6S. I'm pretty sure that's what we've got. They're very similar, but they are they are different. Uh, which one's which? I've got absolutely no idea. We'll find out. What it is, I've got a um, phone over here which someone's asked me to replace the screen on. So I've been doing a video on this too. Screen replacement. So I'm guessing it'd be the screen here, because it's the right colour. So I would have already got life alike. So this screen will be going onto this phone. So this is probably just an, has to be an iPhone 6 screen. Uh, 6S, sorry. I would have got this as a spare in case I ever needed one. Again, because of the whole AliExpress thing. Um, potentially being a problem, so I thought well, I'll get one now. You know, I don't need it now, I'm going to get one. So, yeah, I'll put it back in there for now. Right, let's have a look in here. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a keyboard, just based on the shape again. Yep, more, more keyboards. These will be, I think these might be 13 inch keyboards based on the length of that flex on there. So again, just MacBook keyboards. Stocking up because I need to. Not very exciting. There'll be links for these down below. Even though I don't get paid for things from AliExpress. Always got a bang good first if you can. I'm really pushing it today, aren't I? Mm. Right, let's see what's in here. Oh, look at this, impervious tape. Uh, we have to use a real knife. Now, some of you may recognise this. I might have seen this on some other popular YouTuber's channel. Maybe. So it's a hobby meter. See if we've got the right plug on it. Excellent. <laughs> um, this is not the same as the one that Big Clive has. It's like a, I don't know, I think it's like a clone. Or if it's like a new revision, I don't know. It's got, you know, obviously it's got these terminals on the front here, which are the speaker terminals. Uh, so it's got the universal socket on there, like you got on death adapters. What is it? Non-legal plug in New Zealand. These pens here, not the earth, the other ones, they should have a sheathing halfway down the pen, or a certain distance down the pen, so you can't actually touch the pen where you're plugging it in or unplugging it. So those aren't actually legal because they're supposed to be shielded. Um, that feels alright in there. Let's try a death adapter. Feels fine. So the tension of those feel alright anyway. Should we plug it in, see what happens, see if we light it up? 
Now, this one is the HP-8. And there's different resolutions. So this is, this is supposed to be the high resolution one. So here's the specs. Want to read that? Just pause it. Um, so it's supposed to have a high resolution, the one that uh, Big Live's got. Let's plug it in and we'll see what we get. We should plug a load into a Toshi and I see what actually comes up. Anyway, I'll chuck it to my Vuriac. It is flickering. I can see it on the camera, it's flickering. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, 230 volt, let's drop it down. What does it, what does it go down to before it dies? Let's find out. 50 volts and it's still going. Oh, there we go. About 24 volts where it starts to drop out. So, yeah, that's fine. Wind it back up. I'll tend to say about 230 or so. All right. Well, this seems to work. At least that part. Let's plug something into it. Uh, what? What should I plug in? Let's plug this in. This is an HP 8648B, which I'm currently trying to repair. Trying to repair. Let's see what we get from this, because this is what I switch my power supply on it. Right, turn it on. Sixty-three watts, half an amp, 0 0.6 power factor. Mm. Could be better. So seventy-four watts now. Now it's actually running fully. It's got these buttons over here too, which do different things. Really don't know what. I have to read the manual. It's for setting the cost, I think. Anyway, yeah. Right, this seems to work. That's the main thing. Moving on. Let's see what's in here. What did they send me? Some of the stuff I ordered, of course. Anyway, I sent them a 14. I think they've got a few other things coming. I, just, I did get some, a few notifications about things being shipped. So I think other things are on the way. Yeah, 4 mil adapters, so... Get 4 of those, that's fine. So these are... Intentioned... Well, the intention of these is to make some cables up. So it's like standard 4mm plugs with that standardised spacing and it's got a cable guide in it as well so you stick the cables in the sides and you've got little screw terminals in there and you screw them in from inside there there's little screws in there, grub screws so you, stick the, you run a cable down through the guide put the terminals in through those holes tighten down the grub screws and you've got a cable assembly so put one IZG in and you've got a uh, a decent assembly. So the reason I'm going to do that is I want to make some shielded cables up for doing some more precision references like um, when I'm working on things which require a, no a lower noise cable now I'm just using a standard pair of like multimeter lead kind of things I want to make some cables up which allow me to have hopefully better noise figures by having the shield going to the ground side of it it might help that. I might even have to run a second cable um, with a, a guard terminal on it instead We'll see if we go. But anyway, I've got four of those. So in theory I should make up two cables with it. So thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe, click the bell icon because that's really important, and uh, share the video if you people think people might be interested in it. Catch you later.